YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Let's talk about why Neo and Lee Auto stocks are dumping today. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Please hit that thumbs up so we can continue to grow the channel. I would appreciate it. Now, we'll start with Lee Auto. Um, <clears throat> Lee Auto reported second quarter results that were generally in line with expectations, with net income up 86.24% from the first quarter. Well, here's the thing. While well, gross margin slipping to 19.5%. And so this is the reason why we are seeing the stock plummet the way it is. You can see at one point we were up to $21.78. Now we're sitting at $18.08. And so, yeah, the margins, guys, the margins, the margins, the margins. We need these companies to be profitable. So that's what the, the issue is with uh, with Lee Auto. Now it says the company had total revenues <clears throat> of RMB $31.7 billion in the second quarter, topping analyst expectations of RMB $31.4 billion in Bloomberg survey and exceeding the upper end of the guidance range of RMB $29.9 billion to RMB $31.4 billion, according to unaudited financial results released today, okay? Now, that's up 10.6% from RMB $28.7 billion in the second quarter of 2023, and up 23.6% from RMB $25.6 billion in the first quarter of 2024. So in a nutshell, uh, this is why Lee Auto stock is down 15% at the time of this recording. And we can see that NEO has kind of followed suit because they're in the same country and the same industry. And because of that, a lot of speculation is starting to uh, really uh, wonder a lot of investors for NEO as well. And so... They're looking at it like this. If the margins are reducing for Lee Auto and some of the other EV makers, then that's not going to necessarily be good for Neo as well. Not saying that that's true. We'll find out next week, I think, Neo's going to be having earnings. So we're just going to have to keep our fingers crossed on that one and hope for the best. Now, let's also talk about some of the sales preview that Deutsche Bank expects NEO. So let's go ahead and, and bring that information up here. So uh, China's major, major electric vehicle players are expected to release delivery figures this Sunday. And before that, Deutsche Bank shared their forecast. Now, NEO's retail sales in August are estimated at 20,000 units flat year on year and fat flat sequentially analyst Wayne Bean's team said in a research note sent to investors today. So essentially year over year, analysts are not expecting much progress from this point last year versus this point this year as it pertains to the amount of units that are gonna be sold. And so if the deliveries come in better than expected, I would expect that the EV uh, space will have a, a nice boost to the upside. If NEO, for example, comes in below that 20,000, it's not going to look good, guys. I'm just being honest with you guys, okay? Now, it says in the first week of August, NEO's domestic retail sales volume totaled 17,000 units, the team noted. Based on dealer feedback, NEO's new order flow in August is estimated to be around 22,000 units flat from the previous month as the company adjusts promotions weekly based on fluctuations in new order volume, the team said. For example, NEO reduced the promotions for its ES6 and EC6 SUVs by RMB 5000 on July 22nd and its ET5 and ET and ET5T sedans by RMB 3000, Wayne's team wrote. However, NEO started to offer an additional RMB of 3000 cash discount and RMB 5000 worth of gifts, such as wines and coupons, 
for its ES6 and EC6 SUVs, as well as its ET5 and ET5T sedan starting in August, according to the team. And see, when you guys do things like this, and I'm not saying this is something that they have to do, they didn't have to do in order to make sales, but this, these are the types of things that kind of reduce the margins when you're, you know, taking money off the table and giving gifts, okay? And, and again, I understand, you know, these businesses are in it to make money and whatever they have to do to get these units moved, they have to do what they have to do in the meantime. So I get it, but at the end of the day, margins are probably not going to be looking good but it's a good thing that we're long term on this and not short term. So it says Neo delivered 20,498 vehicles in July, marking the third consecutive month above the 20,000 unit mark. That was up 0.18% from 20,462 vehicles in the same month last year, although down 3.35% from 21,209 in June. The company will report its unaudited financial results for the second quarter of 2024 on Thursday, September 5th. So almost a week away before the U.S. markets open. Now, retail sales for Tesla China operation in August were estimated to be around 65,000 units, up 39% sequentially and flat year on year, according to Wang Ting. Now, Tesla's retail sales in China totaled 57,000 units in the first four weeks of August, the team noted. So overall, guys, um, there's still some work that needs to be done in the EV space. And uh, Neo, Xping, Tesla, uh, Lee Auto, BYD, a lot of these companies still uh, have work to do as we battle the, I don't want to say an economic crisis globally, globally, but uh, financial issues globally. We talk about interest rates. We're all kind of in this same pool where we are, <laughs> we're in that space where the interest rates are just too high, no matter where you are. And so companies like Neo, Lee Auto are having to take a hit on margin take a hit on, you know, the revenue they would have and uh, earnings per share and things of that nature because the interest rates are so high, it's hard to kind of get these units off of the lots without some sort of incentive, okay? Now, overall, guys, let me know what you guys think about what's going on in the EV space, the current downward movement for NEO, uh, Lee Auto, and some of the other uh, EV companies out there. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and what you see us going over the next couple of weeks. What do you guys uh, kind of foresee for, for NEO for next week? I'd love to hear all about what you guys have to say. So I appreciate you guys. Hit that thumbs up so we can continue to grow the channel. And I'm out, guys. Peace.